Welcome to Black Wolf News. Oh, I need some intro music here, don't I? Welcome to Black Wolf News. Cue intro music. Sip from coffee. With one eyebrow raised. All right, maybe someday we'll be fancy enough to have intro music. Well, there is intro music because I put some there, but I mean, during right there, like, you know, I don't know. Maybe I can just stick with the sipping sound. Sorry, eyebrow. <sighs> People probably don't like that. Probably shouldn't do that. That'll make all my viewers go away. Plus, I spent a minute talking about sipping coffee. Three subjects today. The third subject that we'll address, in reverse chronological order, ESPN, the NFL, CBS, the National Anthem, Donald Trump, Kaepernick, not completely non-controversial subject. Maybe there'll be some racism topped it, tossed in there just for, you know, shits and giggles, because life's fun. But before we get to that, we're going to talk about uh, the middle subject, which is my new website, my new business. The first thing we're going to talk about, though, is I'm moving in a month. How exciting is that? Everybody loves moving. You're going to ask yourself a great question like, but you've got all this great room with this insulation around you. Why would you move now? Because I'm being foreclosed on. Would you like to hear that story? It's a great story. It's not my fault. I'm not behind on any bills that I don't want to be behind on. If you want to hear that story, say something in the comments. Apparently, you interacting in the comments makes this video more more better. So if you ask me some questions in the comments, I'll answer them. Also, I'll do a video on the foreclosure because it's a good story and you like to hear stories and that's why you listen to my videos. Uh, the middle topic, new business. Um, I'm building a website. I'm using Wix, which means I'm learning how to use Wix and I'm also learning how to build a website and it's taking me longer than I thought it would. So hopefully my goal is in two weeks to have that out, have that ready. And then I can tell you, look at this new business. Um, tagged on to that, it'll be related to the pet service industry here in Tyler. Uh, but if you are in Smith County and you want me to come pick up your dog poop, then look up dungbusters.dog. I have a new price calculator there. I would love it if you just put in some information for me to check and make sure it works right. Um, but if you really do want me to come clean up your dog poop, fill out the form and I'll give you a call and I'll come clean up your dog poop. There's also my phone number on that website, so you could just call me. But I'd like a couple of people to fill out that price calculator so that I know what's going on there. Um, I think that would be helpful. Uh, now on to the topic at hand. The controversy. The NFL. The National Anthem. Kaepernick. Protests. Donald Trump. Coffee. Charlie. Oh, where's my kidney? All right. So I want to kind of throw us into a time machine. Pretend that the time machine is that ball that you put a hamster in, and then you shake it up. No, you're not supposed to shake the hamster. Never mind. Forget that. Forget that analogy. We're not going with that analogy anymore. Don't shake the hamster ball. I used to boot it along the floor because I thought it was funny to watch the hamster. I never did that when I was an innocent child and didn't know better. I didn't. Time machine is on this yellow notepad. Look at that. That was me fixing my driveway. I put uh, $5,000 worth of work into my driveway two weeks ago. And then they're taking my house from me. <laughs> I'm not bitter. All right. In 2009, prior to 2009, the NFL players on Sunday came out for the national anthem. During the primetime games on your Thursday nights and your Monday nights, they stayed in the locker room for the National Anthem. After 2009, they all came out for the National Anthem during primetime and during Sundays. The reasoning all has to do with advertising. Prior to 2009, um, the advertisers wanted to catch them coming out of the locker room because that's excitement. The game started. Here comes the players. Here comes the teams. Get excited. Yay! And then we jump right into the team. Just like we jump right back into turning that light on. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, 
in 2009, they decided, the advertisers decided that they could film them coming out of the locker room. Yay! Switched advertisement during the national anthem. And then, after the anthem, they come back to the game. So, locker room, anthem advertising, wow! And out of the game. Uh, so that happened in 2009. We have a report from Jeff Flake out of Arizona. He's a senator there. Um, from 2011 to 2014. But this happened prior to that. It happened after that. It's happening right now. The Department of Defense paid for political advertising, uh, for promotional advertising during the NFL games. Um, when they take that big flag out there and they flap it up and down and it looks awesome, the DOD pays for that. They're taking up network time. They're paying for network time. They're paying for NFL time. They're paying for the time of the fans in the stadium. When the Marines come out and they do their their, their uh, drill with the guns where they flip their guns around and do all that, I love that drill. That is so flipping fantastic. The Department of Defense pays the networks in the NFL for the time when they do that. Uh, they do it for the color guard. When the color guard's actually out on the field, they do that. The color guard is almost always at sporting events, even your local ones. There's a lot of local ones. The color guard shows up for there from your veterans administration. But they usually stand in back. Um, when they do it out on the field, the Department of Defense pays for that. That is all promotional advertising for the purpose of honoring our, our dead soldiers and sailors and Marines and airmen. Um, and it's for promotions. Hey, this is the armed services. If you like football, maybe you'd like to join the, the armed services. Uh, so it's it's promotional advertising, but the they never paid for it. the Department of Defense, according to the Department of Defense. Well, there's that, and according to the NFL, never paid for. You can look this one up on Snopes if you want. Eh, Snopes. Let's not get into that. They never paid for the players to come out during the national anthem. That was entirely on the networks, and on the NFL, and on the players. They decided to start doing that in 2009 long before this ever became a controversy. Now we're going to fast forward to 2016. It was only two years ago when Kaepernick first came out and sat on his butt during the national anthem. This is after he got benched for being a terrible player during the, the, the preseason. He got benched for being a terrible player, so he sat during the national anthem through two games. Someone told him he was a jack wagon, he should start kneeling. Then he started kneeling during the national anthem. Um, the controversy was never over Kaepernick protesting. Uh, people questioned the legitimacy of what he was protesting about, but the controversy was never about the protest. The controversy was about the protest during the national anthem. The networks did not air the national anthem, for the most part. They did on, you know, big games, sometimes during the playoffs, sometimes the, the, during the Super Bowl every time, sometimes during the playoffs, and occasionally they would air the national anthem. They never started airing the national anthem regularly until Kaepernick started protesting. And then it was a means of, look, it's a controversy. Look at this controversy. You should watch us. The, net, the, the ratings for the networks, and for the NFL from that protest have been going down steadily for two years now. People don't want to see people protesting during the national anthem. Do it before, do it after. Just don't do it during. Um, now, you want to know how many people have that sentiment? 80% of Americans, according to the polls, don't want you protesting. doesn't matter what you're protesting. They don't want you doing it during the national anthem. They view the national anthem as a time set aside specifically to honor our fallen soldiers, our fallen Marines, our fallen airmen, our fallen sailors. And as a time to honor those who are going into that profession. If you want to do your protest before that, great. You want to do it after it, fantastic. Just don't do it during that time that is specifically set aside to honor the sailors. 80% of Americans agree with that sentiment. Until, until he turns the light back on, until Donald Trump got involved. 
Donald Trump comes out and he says, the NFL players should all stand for the national anthem. They're a big bunch, they're a big bunch of fat jerks for not standing for the national anthem. He used different words than that, words that I'm not going to use in this video. Um, when he came out, that 80% that said you shouldn't protest dropped to 60. That's because 20% of the uh, uh, American population that were polled for that said, uh, uh, Trump is a racist and I shouldn't be agreeing with Trump. So if Trump opposes the protest during the national anthem, then and he's a racist, then if I support that, then I'm a racist. So now only 60% of Americans oppose protesting during the anthem. Again, they don't protest the protest. They don't oppose the protest. They oppose the protest during the national anthem. <clears throat> they might not agree with the protest. They might think the protest is silly. It's inaccurate. It doesn't portray the truth. But that's all fine and dandy. They don't oppose the protest. They oppose it during the national anthem. That's where the controversy is. So, um, as I said, the network started airing that in 2016. This week, ESPN and CBS both announced, and the others will probably come down the line, that they are no longer airing the national anthem. Oh, but wait a minute. If they're going to deny the protesters their freedom of speech of being on television while they're protesting during the national anthem, doesn't that make ESPN racist? Doesn't that make CP CBS racist? Oh, oh my gosh. They're horrible. Indeed, they are. But they aren't racist. Neither is Donald Trump. Neither is anybody who opposes the protest during the national anthem. Kaepernick has the right to protest. If his employer allows it to happen during, the, during his work time, he's allowed to protest during his work time. The thing that people oppose is him protesting during the national anthem. Now that the networks are not airing that protest, they are now obviously racist. And you should be just as mad at them as you were about Donald Trump saying that they shouldn't be allowed to protest during their work time. I'm just saying. All right, that's it. That's the controversy. All done in 13 minutes. Y'all have a good day.